Hey, Phantomaniacs, welcome to the newest unboxing here on the Needless Things YouTube channel. Today, we are looking at the Masters of the Universe Origins, Point Dread, and Talon Fighter, Mystical Outpost, and Flying Vehicle. Look at those Rotons just flying around up there, carrying Faker and Trapjaw around. This art is incredible. Uh, so this is interesting. So, Stratos, uh, sorry, Zodak and He Man are both in the Talon Fighter. Is this a two-seater? I didn't know that, if that's the case. Uh, we've got another Roton with our Comics trap jaw, or um, a Triclops on there. Oh, that's Comics uh, trap jaw as well, now that I'm looking at it. And then our 2002 Skeletor, Man-at-Arms, Merman, uh, Mini Comic, or Red Beast, and then Zodak over here with He-Man, who's getting ready to take off. Uh, this art is amazing. And then on the side, okay, whatever... Oh, gosh, can I get this positioned correctly? Whatever that is, put it in the line. I want it. That's amazing. Uh, and then on the side, we've got... T oh, this is interesting. Tila on Battle Cat. And I believe that, uh, you can't really tell, I was going to say it might be a Battlefield Tila with blonde hair, but I don't think that's the case. Tila on Battle Cat fighting Evil Lynn on Panthor. That's awesome. Uh, okay, and then on the back we've got uh, the beautiful art up front, once again featuring it as a two-seater. So I guess we'll find out in a minute if that's the case. Uh, with the mighty Talon Fighter perched atop its Eldritch Arch. The mysterious Point Dread traveled through time and space before Sorceress merged it to Castle Grayskull. Uh, which, by the way, if it is possible, if I have the time, I'm going to take down my Castle Grayskull. I'm going to move all 20 figures I've got in it and put this Point Dread on that to see how well it fix, uh, fits. Uh, just for you guys. If if I can. I've got a lot, I got a lot going on. Uh, there's Stratos. Yeah, it's just beautiful. This is great. Let's open it up. I'm going to talk about the cross sell this time. It's there's a cross sell. It's it's wonderful. They do it on this line, and I love it. Oh, got one more piece of tape up there. Uh, so this actually came from Big Bad Toy Store a while ago, and I've been putting it off because I know I need to see how this fits onto Castle Grayskull, and I also know. It's going to be a big pain to move everything off of my Castle Grayskull and get it to the point where... Oh, man. Oh, look at this. There's, there's assembly. Assembly required. I love it. Give me more assembly with my toys. Uh, so it's going to be a big pain to get Castle Grayskull to the point... It is a two-seater. To the point where uh, we can... We can put this on it, but, uh, you know, I, I, I understand that it's something that needs to be done, and if I can, I will do it, and it'll be at the end of this video. Oh, look at this beauty. The rings. So, I've got the Masters of the Universe Classics Talon Fighter. Uh, it, is, it is less available to me than my Origins Castle Grayskull, because it's... I had to pack it up. It's too it's too huge, you guys. It's it's ridiculous. When you put it anywhere near the Masters Universe Classics Castle Grayskull, it kind of undermines the awesomeness of the Classics Castle Grayskull, one of the greatest toys of all time. Because it's so big, it makes the castle look kind of small and stupid. I mean, it also makes the Talon Fighter look big and stupid, but like, I don't know. I just couldn't display that thing. It's awesome. It's a great tool. Oh, you know what? I'm totally wrong. It's, it's, I forgot. I took it out of storage. Hang on. Sorry for the chair noise. Uh, I took it out of storage because I realized I could put it up here in my workshop. Uh, so here is <laughs> for a little, for a little comparison. Sorry. I had to go a bit across the room. Uh, for a little comparison, here is the Classics Talon Fighter, which is incredible. It's a great toy, and it's got room for like 15 uh, Classics figures inside. 
but it's just ridiculous way too big and honestly though i mean take a look well okay so there's i realize you i might be able to get a side by side when the video is done i'll throw it in at the end of the video oh i love this clear oh it's beautiful this is fantastic uh, but you can just see this thing is massive and it's awesome but good gosh i've got some tools and stuff that i just stuck in there because they were they were on the shelf where this sits now so i was just like i'll throw them in there um Anyway, we're not here to talk about the Classics Talon Fighter, as, as phenomenal as it is. We're here to talk about the Origins Talon Fighter with its beautiful metallic blue parts. It's incredible translucent. Just be, I got a little scuffing right here, but I believe that'll wipe right off. I don't have my... Uh, goo gone or anything else with me but, I, but look at look at how gorgeous and translucent that cockpit is oh man this thing is great it is a two-seater oh it's fantastic okay let's take a look at our instructions before i go messing anything up one time assembly so that means you put this thing together and it is not coming back apart but that's okay because it's not uh, this massive gigantic beast like the other one this one can actually be although it is I mean it is pretty sizable I don't want to uh, I don't want to act like this isn't a large vehicle because it is and it's great uh, okay so we've got uh, our wings they are one time assembled Look at the colors on this, it's beautiful. I love the paint up here. Um, the eyes are translucent. Look at that. Translucent red plastic for the eyes. Oh, uh, this team, I love the Origins design team. They're the best. Uh, so we've got our, the talons of the Talon Fighter that you can see the way that they slide into place like they're going to be very secure in there and there it is one time assembly i don't love this i get it i get it we have to have this kind of identification stuff it's just a necessary evil but i hate it uh slide that one into place nice satisfying click oh man look at this thing it's great wait do we have Oh man, so you can put, you can put the radar dish on top of this, which is the traditional look. And look, it doesn't, uh, it doesn't like clip in in any way. It's just, it just plugs in and friction keeps it in place. Oh, I love that. Uh, or you can put the gun that goes with Point Dread on top of the Talon Fighter. And that looks awesome too. But I think we're gonna have to, oh, there, there's so many little options here. Okay, so, wow. Okay, so either one of those can go on top. We're gonna set those to the side for right now. Uh, attach handle. So that handle's going in and it's not coming out. I'm okay with that because it is part of the toy. And look at that. Oh, wait, maybe the, no, the handle must come out of there because otherwise, yeah, the handle does pop right back out. Okay, so you don't have to use the handle, uh, but you can take it in and out and that's fine. Uh, okay. Okay, let's put the radar dish on there for now. And there it is. That is our beautifully sized, fun, brightly colored, bright colors look fantastic. These are, uh, these are stickers, but they're high quality, look great. The metallic blue is gorgeous. This is a fantastic vehicle. Oh, and look at the back. Uh, also stickers, that's fine. It's a mass market retail toy. Uh, and they look great. They look cool. Just all of the detail in this thing, these vents on the bottom, the feather sculpting, uh, all down the side. 
that is a softer plastic nose. I don't really know how this is going to cause any less damage than this plastic uh, if you ram it into your friend's eye, but whatever, it's fine. So there we go. Oh, and let's take another look. I, we, I looked at the cockpit, but I kind of didn't point it out to you guys because I was just looking at everything we were dealing with. Look at all the detail in the cockpit. Uh, you've got these like foot panels. You've got the little uh, control sticks, joysticks, whatever, that are probably the same ones that are in the Wind Raider. Uh, I love the tools back here. The tools, the fire extinguisher, which is very, just looks like an earth fire extinguisher and first aid kit. But uh, this is fantastic. Uh, again, all stickers, and it's fine. Mass market retail, and I'm glad there's as many of them as there are. I mean, this this could have all just been left blank, and I'd still be pretty happy with this thing. So this is a uh, really great, awesome detail. This this is delightful. Why I wish there were more toys like this in the world. Uh, so let's set that off to the side, and we'll take a look at Point Dread, which we've got... Uh, Computer console, more more tools. Looks pretty cool. And you can put the gun right there for your characters to stand here and defend whatever it is they're defending. Uh, and you can also, if you want to, put the radar dish there. It can be just a little communication relay station, which I think is pretty neat. I actually, I kind of like that more than the gun. Oh, and this uh, this does match Grayskull. It's got the it's the flecked plastic. Uh, if you can see, they're like white flecks in the plastic. The coloration looks about the same. Uh, so there's that, and then you can attach this top portion in theory. There we go. Oh, maybe. Did I get it? There we go. Okay. So this attach this top portion, and you've got like a little stronghold type thing. And I, I like the idea that this is a time-traveling piece of Castle Grayskull. <laughs> I think that's awesome. Uh, so you can put uh, all of these little circles are the same size. So you can put the radar dish there. You can put the gun uh, up there. And you can, of course, put the landing perch, I guess that's what it's called, for the Talon Fighter up there. And we'll see if I've got enough space in my video. There it goes. Uh, so that securely and perfectly attaches to that. Put our radar dish back on the Talon Fighter. You've got this this is there you go it, it pretty much fits uh in our in our image here in our screen gosh this is so cool so i don't know if i really i like this little i like this little thing uh i think i like the radar dish on it i think i like the gun on the Talon Fighter. So we've got our little remote Grayskull communications location. We've got our armed Talon Fighter. Uh, I think I dig it like this, but I, I will still, like I said, if, if I can get it together, uh, I'll put this fitting onto Grayskull at the end of the video. Uh, but for now, there it is. Oh, wait, here. Let's let's do this just just for fun. I don't normally bother because I, I, at this point in the line, it's relatively safe to assume that everything is going to interact well and like we don't have to worry about figures fitting into things or whatever. Um, but let's get Skeletor into the weird seated position that Origins figures have. Just kind of look at that goes right there and then whoever's behind him will slide in um, this is the beauty of these is you can really manipulate them to to get them to fit in we'll sit like so and there is plenty of headroom look at that oh 
Oh man, this is great. This is a great toy. I don't know if this is going to start showing up at retail. I don't know what the deal is. Maybe it'll. Maybe you can only get it at Big Bad for a while. Or Amazon. Amazon, I think, had it. I know they had it up for pre-order. Uh, as a matter of fact, I think they shipped it before Big Bad did. Uh, but whatever the case, this is a fantastic toy. If you're collecting Origins, you have to have it. Uh, but if you just want, like, cool toys, this needs to go in your toy room. Uh, thanks for watching, you guys. Please like, subscribe, share, tell your friends about Needless Things. Uh, come back for all kinds of different toy reviews. Masters, G.I. Joe, Ninja Turtles, uh, whatever I can get my hands on that I think is cool. Uh, and there it is. Until next time, Talon Fighter Awake! Okay, so let's do it. My lighting is not the best in this corner, but uh, you can see... Uh, I'm going to move all of this stuff just so I can get that Castle Grayskull down because I know we got to know does that little point dread piece uh, clip uh, to that tower right there. And we all know the answer. Of course it's going to because everything in Origins works really nicely and really well. But uh, I got to do it. I got to know. I got to find out. Okay, so we're here in the workshop, handheld. Um, Looking at the instruction sheet, seeing that it does clip on uh, to this turret of Castle Grayskull, which is a problem because I've got this little ghosty guy stuck up there, but we'll move him for the time being. Uh, like I said, I think I've already decided that I'm going to keep Point Dread as a freestanding thing, but let's reach over here. There is our little outpost time traveling and placement deal oh how's this gonna come back apart all right hang on and we'll temporarily mount oh this is gonna i don't want to accidentally hit a button this isn't how i usually mount the phone oh obviously because there's now the camera's covered up all right how can we do this um how about Well, we'll just try the old one-handed method first and see where that gets us. Because those clips were at the front. So I think... Here's what I think, is I should have taken this apart before I started filming. Yeah, that was absolutely not a one-handed uh, mission. You can see those clips right there at the front that, you know, they're sturdy. They hold everything in place. Everything works well. Uh, and now we've got our bottom portion uh, of the outpost and now we bring this up here uh, first of all first of all how well does this match gray skull uh, looks pretty good because there are a lot of different colors and one of the cool things about this gray skull is the variety of colors in it um, so this looks to match up pretty nicely so let's see if this will fit. Oh, look at this. It's, I mean, there's no reason why it wouldn't fit perfectly. But look at that. Snaps right into place. Looks pretty cool on top of the castle. It just gives you a little extra fortification. Let me turn the castle around so you can get a better view. And there it is. A nice addition. Let's. Uh, what do I do with? Oh, there it is. Okay. So put the landing perch, as it were, up top, and put the new Origins Talon Fighter on the landing perch. And it's still preposterously huge, uh, just like it was on the Classics Gray Skull, but, uh, you know, easy enough to remove this part and just put your radar dish up there or whatever. So it looks pretty neat. I actually like the dish up here and the gun over here. Uh, works really well, but
but I think I might keep Point Dread as its own little, whoop, screech fell over. Uh, keep Point Dread as its own little time traveling emplacement. But there you go. I did it just for you guys. Moved all of that stuff so we could check it out. Thanks for watching, guys. Like, subscribe, share. Da da da. I already did it. Later. Smash that like button if you like needless things.